Hi guys. Um, so I can't feel this. Sorry. <laughs> um, sorry. I have a friend behind me, so I'm super embarrassed. Of course. Um, I am here today to do my Friday reads. Um, before I start doing my Friday reads, I am just gonna mention that I'm gonna link my July wrap up down below, just in case you missed it. But anyways, <laughs> so um, the first book that I am reading right now is Now You See Me by Sharon Bolton. This is the traveling book um, that Claire from the Book Fox is doing, and I'm having. So so much fun reading this. I'm going to link um, my video about it and her video about it down below as well. So you can go um, watch that if you are a booktuber and you're interested in maybe getting this book next. Uh, it's like a murder, I don't know if it's a murder mystery, but it's like a mystery thriller type book. Um, I will say the writing is not spectacular. So if you're the type of person who needs really good writing in order to enjoy a book, don't ask to read this because it's not going to be for you, but it is a lot of fun. Um, and it is just, it's so much fun. All of like the little notes and stuff in there. It's kind of hard to see. Like, um, it's, it's just, it's so much fun. Um, yeah, the book has <laughs> its problems for sure though, but it's still, I'm, I'm really, really, really enjoying this reading experience. Um, the next Thing that I kind of want to try to put a dent in maybe is a little bit more of House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielowski. I kind of totally forgot about the fact that I was reading this book and I need to get some stuff off my currently reading list. So um, I'll say if you're watching this, um, I'm ready to get back into this groove thing. I'll message you on Twitter later today when I get home or maybe tomorrow actually probably. Um, but yeah, so I would like to not finish this obviously but make more of a dent in it. And this book is not making it past the weekend on my currently reading list. I'm either finishing it or I'm DNFing it because thinking about this book <laughs> gives me a little bit of anxiety. Like I want, I just want to finish it. It's not a very hard read. If I wanted to, I could make it happen. I just, I'm not like inspired to pick it up. So it makes me think I'm leaning more towards the DNF, but I really don't want to because it was a book to recommend book. So we'll see what happens with that. And then, you know, for funsies, I also am still reading Fast Redation by Eric Schlosser, and I would love to finish this as well. It feels so intimidating. It's really not that many pages. I'm on page 125. I mean, not 125, 205. That doesn't make any sense. On page 205, and the actual, excuse me, text goes until like 410. So I've got just 200 pages left. It seems like a lot more than that because there's a lot of notes in the back because he's a good guy who does his research. Um, so yeah, those are the things. Let me know what you're reading. Bye.